I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the <laughs> doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. But what they don't. What are you. V, listen. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tap hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. There are various ways to incapacitate enemies without killing them. Non-lethal takedowns, non-lethal non quick hacks, non-lethal weapons, EMP grenades, and some combat gadgets. Weapon mods that change damage to non-lethal. If a given weapon, combat gadget, or quick hack deals non-lethal damage, it will be mentioned in the description. Um, did I buy that mod? <sighs> That's so weird looking. Oh well, I just wear the gas mask. Um... Oh, it doesn't have mod support. Something that can. Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the nice city underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. I just want to take a look at it. Eh. Switch that out back for my gun. Let's 
51 DPS. That's 60.65 or 60.5. Chemical damage on a headshot. And this is electrical. Sign a grenade to the combat gadget quick slot in your inventory so you can make easy use of it during combat. Puzzle. That's weird, it's got a... Like it doesn't exist. Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? How they remember you, that's all that counts. It's first place and no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from yeah, eager, I supple heard. youth. Respect. I'll make some calls. We'll explain. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Why me, me? Why the show? Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could've had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could've just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. The job, tell me more. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Not at all. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, it's a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client, tell me about her. Klein, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. 
I knew it wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leave to you. Maelstrom, what's the issue? What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shot. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say went, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate one Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Woman's a corp agent. Corpo agent. What's she playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport. Got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her boss has learned she fucked up. Well, Mr. V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. No, I'll need. Thanks. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Dexter, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Hmm. He wants to check us out, see if we got what it takes. The guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> on. Royce, know anything about him? You don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. Must know what he's doing. Yeah. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's yeah, first? Sure. Down, so. oh, no, he's got everything. 
Gonna start with the client. Yeah, Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. What's up, Tosh? How are you doing today? <laughs>